Um, today we're going to be doing problem number two from worksheet number eight from the Physics Academic Excellence Workshop. So basically in this problem, we've got this, this system right here. It's actually a tanuki in a shopping cart, and it's got a mass M. And it's being pushed by his friend, which is a weasel, with a force that depends on time, as shown here. So what's told is that the weasel pushes him for three straight seconds, so from time equals zero to three seconds, before he reaches a hill. And then he lets go, and the tanuki and the shopping cart go up the hill. And we want to know how high up the hill does the block make it. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, all right, we've got a force that depends on time. And, and that kind of makes me think I want to do something with impulse. So I know if I find the impulse due to that thing over the time interval, I can find the change in momentum. And if I can do that, then I can say, well, hey, I know the velocity once it gets to the bottom of the hill, because that's when he stops pushing. And so once we do that, we're just going to have a normal work energy problem. It's going so fast at the bottom of the hill, how high does it make it up before gravity eventually stops it? So let's write that out mathematically. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to say impulse, in this case, equals the integral from 0, and I'm going to say to 3. It should be 3 seconds, and everywhere that there should be 3 seconds, I'm just going to write a 3. I'm just going to assume you'll use proper units for all of the constants. So integral from 0 to 3 of this thing, I'm just going to call it f of t dt. And this is just a definite integral. So you can take that if you want to. But I actually wrote down the answer. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the answer equals 3a plus 9c plus a times <laughs> minus 1 plus cosine 3b all over b. OK, so that right there is our impulse. And we know that that equals mass times the change in velocity, which is the change in momentum. So since, uh, well, I'll just write it out. M v final minus v initial equals that stuff. So then we know, hey, initially it starts at rest. And so we can just bring 1 over mass over to the other side and say that that's the speed at the bottom of the hill right here. And that's what I'm calling v final. Um, OK, so now we're just going to go about this like a normal work energy problem. And we're going to say, hey, uh, let's make our system the tanuki and the shopping cart. And let's say that the work is done by gravity on it. We know from, from past experience that the only thing that's going to change in this situation is the translational kinetic energy. Um, and the work done by this is going to be minus mgh, just the work done by gravity in this case. And then the change in kinetic energy will be 1 half m. Uh, now I'm going to say v final 2 squared minus v final squared, where this is, this is our new v initial basically, but it, I called it v final already. Um, OK. And from there, I'm going to assume that you already solved for vf by taking this expression here and dividing it by mass. And then I'll tell you that you're going to want to plug that in right here. And we know that the shopping cart comes to a stop at the top. So this goes to 0. So then these masses even cancel for us, and it's all really nice. And all we have to do is solve for h at this point. Now, that's a lot of algebra, and it comes out to a really messy answer. But this right here is our only unknown. So I'll just I'll leave that as an exercise to the